Hey everyone, uh, hey everyone, this is Lever, welcome back to my playthrough of Persona Q. Today we are going to continue exploring the Evil Spirit Club. I so I hope I need to actually do stuff, but I guess we do that now, right? So this is actually a super simple puzzle and it took me way too long to get you guys the solution. Because I'm terrible at it. So you wake up the foe. The idea is you need to you need to trigger that so that you can drag it to this room. Yep, yeah, careful, very careful. And you trigger this rattle. Okay. Dang it, that's not what I want. So I think this is the same story. This is a one-way shortcut no matter what, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. So we go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. It looks like the FOE's given up on chasing us. And we have two sleeping babies. We're gonna ruin their day. And then we need to come all the way back up here without running into a fight. That'd be great. Thank you. I believe. You believe what? It's likely. Oh, is this the room that it's supposed to be in? Great. Triple cop set. Okay, let's see what this says. Piece of paper posted on the roll. Threatens one, two, three, four. One and two are in white letters on black, and three and four are on black on white. So you got one, two, white on black, and then three, four, black on white. Okay. Yeah, what about them? Thanks, Teddy. Alright. All right, Let's see what this is. Got a witch dress. Oh boy. That probably has magic attached to it. Which would be great, is what that would be. SP and two magic on it. Yes. Slight defense down. Odd as yes, but that's still a pretty big yes. Don't say no to more magic, especially on people who use Megado. This is a wall, right? One of a kind. Kari, one of a kind. Hey, Baby's pacifier made of aluminum in the janitor's closet. It might be the pacifier that Elizabeth wants for. Okay, great. Yeah. Wow. Alright, well that's... That was it for the quest, was just to go there and get that. Cool. Now I need to make my way back to the right corner. Okay, new, new, t new turf time. Careful. Of course. Of course there's foes hiding in this room. Why wouldn't they? Guess I'll color the room in after the fact. Okay. That's not bad. Uh -huh. I mean, if I remember right, these are these foes will make the shape of dice. Okay. So this is a four. See how this this room is kind of shaped like a dice. The lights in this room form a 2. I'm gonna use the circle icon. So, we got a circle here, and we got a circle here. See how this forms a 2? A little bit obnoxious on these switches here. Anyways, this room has the switch right here. 
in the light, so... I'm just gonna use that as our special symbol here. Okay, and so that's one, that's two, that's... This must be three, I think. Now, you can't press the switch while the lights are on. I mean, while they're off, because I think the foe occupies the same spot as the switch. Which, by the way, is annoying. So if I turn this off, we go over here, it should be a shape of a three. Yes. So the foes make a shape of a three here. And it should be that simple. Alright, so we got we got the dice dice numbers, right? So that's 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 our first cue. Now I think with the lights on we can solve the puzzle. Okay, so I guess it is super easy and I'm just being dumb. And the black white thing was only a hint as to the nature of the puzzle. So we hit one. Now we go to two, then we go to three, then we go to four. This this set isn't nearly as bad as the double, uh, the pot plus double mage set, but it is still equally bad because Bestial Wrath is dumb. So we'll just try not to die. Got sure Tensei. I didn't actually look ahead to see what this skill did. Greatly lowers HP t each turn, but greatly raises attack while active. What does it mean, while active? Is it a buff? That you just a activate like a switch? What is it? No, it's not a passive, because then it has that symbol. So this must be an activated skill. Okay, so if this is an activated skill, that's interesting. Ooh, okay then. I guess it's a way to introduce the glass cannon strat, but yeah, I won't question. I won't question that too much further. All right, so we've stepped on one. We learned sure tensei. We step on two. Then we go backwards. Stepped on three. Then we go forwards. And step on four, and that should be the correct order. Hooray! Just go in sequence. I almost thought that wasn't Zen for a second. I got scared. I thought it was some headless figure. Anyhow, now that I'm done being creeped out, got choices of left and up. Go up first. See what's over here. Kinda like that I went this direction first. Triple cop set. Once again, it reminded me that I'm the best after defeating one of the easier sets on the floor. I'm getting really used to facing triple guard, triple guard set. I'm really happy that they're continuously spamming it over, say, other things. Found the stairs! Okay, I triggered the stairs, and now we've reached the third story. It's been... 30 minutes for me, but... Meh. This place seemed like it was set in a school, but now it looks more like a hospital. Yeah, and... Oh, Yukiko! I was trying so hard to pretend I hadn't noticed! Well, sorry. Well, cheer up. What is it? You know how there's a mirror by the landing at school? When you climb the stairs while looking at your reflection in it, they say you start hearing a voice. It goes nine, ten, eleven. You can go. Story about our school would be less scary than a hospital story. 
No, she's gone insane. It's an empty shell? I don't know. Handsomeness, disappointment, Junez. The other- another two-thirds Junez. The other two-thirds Junez. Nope, Teddy already said that. Covered the Junez part of me. If you had yours and his, that's two-thirds. Which is way too much. But you're fine with it taking up a whole third. <laughs> you guys gonna keep this up? It's about time we got going. But we need more lightheartedness. What is it, Gaji? There's something I want to talk about with this kid. I mean, dude, but I don't want to say it. Uh huh. I'm sure, I can say it right. Like, what if I say the wrong thing? His feelings get hurt. It'd be fine if this was nothing, but I'm be serious. Like, an important talk between two guys. And, uh. You, you have a train of thought here, Kanji? Stay calm and you'll, it'll be fine, you're hopeless. Stay calm and it'll be fine. I am calm. I just lost my train of thought for a sec. Yeah, I noticed. It gets all jumbled up in my mind. I ain't good at talking. No, all too well. You just think that. Just thinking that? Don't worry, Kachika. Whoa! Were you listening? You guys were stalling even after it was time to leave, so you can go with me. Do we just have a serious moment here? Yeah. Now that. Oh my god, Yukiko. Thanks, thanks for the icebreaker. Okay. God bless. Wait, what? Hey, wait! Get back here, damn it! <laughs> Remember what I said about calm down? <laughs> this is gonna be. Ah, uh, just calm down. Don't you see what's gonna happen while I'm calming down? This is you, Eco Senpai, we're talking about. Anyway, we should go quick. Oh, it's gonna be a huge headache if Yukiko Senpai comes back again. Alright, cool. I'm glad you, you got your train of thought back about Ken, but you gotta go back. I've been at this for almost 40 minutes, so I don't want to call it quits soon. So we're just, just explore the rest of this floor, and I think that'll be it for the day, even if it wasn't like that long of a video for you guys. Depends on how the editing went, but eh. I guess I won't worry about it too much for just a second. 
Um, there was a point to this circle and stuff, right? Or does this just end in a dead end for no reason? Okay, I, I guess it just ends in a dead end for no reason. I wasn't expecting that to be the case, but apparently the game just kind of wanted to dead end there, and suddenly I have this feeling of nonchalance that I did not have before. Anyways, let's go back to Elizabeth and turn in that request, and then we'll, uh, do some stuff in the development room, and I think we'll call it a day after that. Not forgetting any- yes, I'm here to turn those in, silly girl. I want that heat wave. I'm not gonna let the time limit pass on that. Uh-huh. Uh... Wave. Okay then, whatever, Elizabeth, you're being weird again. She got finally got Moragian for herself, that's great. He's about to get Agadine. Okay, got an extra quest, and mascot up Return Supreme. Hopefully it doesn't require me to have both Karamara and Teddy in the team at the same time, in Evil Spirit Club. That'd be a little sad. Drop by the workshop, sell some stuff, and now we'll do some Velvet Room shenanigans, because I like doing that. Let's hear about it. Stable haven in the rift is truly ideal for experimenting with the secret arts of managing personas. This new method involves extracting skills from personas as skill cards. Yes. The persona from which the card is extracted from is lost forever, of course. I hope you allow me to put this new art into practice soon. Skill card extraction is now available in the Velvet Room. Welcome. This is a very special mechanic. Let's see here, we can get Hameon from Virtue. Shura Tensei. I think every persona has one skill you can extract from them. But you may have to get it learned first. So like, for example, maybe Mind Charge is here, but we just don't know it yet, because this Queen Mab isn't high enough level to have it. Like, this one learns Mamudo soon, but it's not on her right now, so I can't get it right now. Bolt Link, Orane. You can get a lot of cool stuff with this method. So like, yeah, and some personas just don't have skills. So like, Osei doesn't have a skill and Mithra doesn't have a skill that you can absorb from them. So they have dashes through them. If they have question marks, that means they learn that skill eventually and has an unknown cost. And if you know the name but you don't know the cost, it's because it's about to learn that skill but it doesn't have it. I can pretty easily get Tempest Slash just off of Hiroshi alone for a pretty cheap price. Which might not be a bad deal. I was thinking of just doing some sacrificing or fusion searching though. So I'm gonna do that. We have access to Profardi. Krikihime. Orpheus. Yinsenhe. Dominion. Genbu. Okay, we've got access to quite a few new personas. It's like five new personas. I actually kind of like Profardi. Has absorb electric, but uh, aside from that, let's see if I can't get Inkabishi for myself. So that'd be Ose Mizuki. I guess it's this one. So I get Repu, then I pass along Glacial, Gokinto, and Shinkuha. Oh man, this might be the easiest upgrade I've ever done, right? So I pass on elemental skills, then I'll have all the physical elemental skills. I don't think I need either of those, and I don't think I need any of these either. 
Yes. Alright. Easiest upgrade ever, I suppose. Glacial plus... Broken Toe plus... I guess I could put- I, could, I guess I could get Bolt Link, but... I don't need to. I think just Shinkoha is fine. Seems like such a weak upgrade to scare a Jing, uh, Jimpe, uh, Jingapeki, but... I'll take it. I literally just upgraded my Persona's level by one, just by doing this. Seems like a weak upgrade, but I mean, I'll take it. What happened? An accident? That's not what. Oh, it seems to have gone differently than planned. The persona Hanuman has emerged from the sea of your soul. That's not Hanuman. So, okay, so instead of getting the I the wind move that I wanted to get, I'm gonna get Ramazan, which is not that great to me, and Pain Eater instead of Safeguard. But, it's a level 41 Persona, being the caveat, right? And it's about to learn Death Chaser. I'm not going to be that upset with this accident, because it let me keep Shinko Haji and, uh, Glacial Edge. But, I mean, I'm a little bit upset that I'm not getting my win move out of this. But only a little, because I did just get Hanuman, and that's not supposed to happen. Um, is the, do I want to get Hanuman and anyone else now that I know that this has happened? It might have been LK on Kanji as well. I could probably even give it to Yosuke. You can make pretty good use out of all these different elements. Uh, I think I'll just sacrifice spread into the Hanuman, see what it learns. Uh, I don't really need to level up the others. Because they're just learning things that aren't very interesting. So I guess I'll just do some sacrifice spreads now. Uh, jeez. Got Death Chaser. Blade of Fury. Heavy cut attack, one row. Oh my god. This persona is awesome. Right, I don't get accidents very often, but when they happen, it's it's quite the interesting view. I think that's gonna be it for me for the to, for today though. So hey there everyone, this has been Africa's always I thank you for watching. Next time we'll begin the third floor of Evil Spirit Club. Until then I'll see you guys. Bye bye.